Okay, so we are going to be creating um, a piece of artwork that's called Catching Snowflakes. To start off with, you guys are going to use a pencil first. I'm going to use a Sharpie just so you can see it a little bit better. So you're going to start with a big circle, but the important part about this circle is that you want to leave this opening right here for the nose. Okay. So I'm just going to make like a little hump right there for the nose. So this is the perspective that's going to be like you are leaning your head back really far, looking up at the sky with your mouth wide open, catching snowflakes in your mouth. So after you get this shape done, then you're going to put a big oval like that for the mouth. And then we're going to want to add some teeth. And to add teeth, you just simply start a line here and kind of cut it off. It's kind of a curved line. It goes along with the mouth. And then you're going to make marks. You want your two first teeth to be the biggest. And then slowly your marks will get a little bit closer together so that your teeth appear smaller, just like they do in your actual mouth. And then we're going to want to add a tongue. And your tongue is just like a kind of an M shape, but it's a little bit wider. It's not quite as arched as an M. The letter M would be. And then if you want, on mine, I went ahead and used a black crayon to color in my mouth black because it's dark back there. Um, I've seen some students do the whole inside of their mouth pink or red. This is up on my example. Um, the inside of or my tongue is pink. It's completely up to you. Um, if you do want to go back after you're finished with all of this and trace in Sharpie, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to stop there. I don't want to take up time. So anyways, you're going to color in your mouth probably darker than your tongue, so it looks like it's a deep hole. Okay, then we're going to add our scarf, and it's just you bring down your two sides. They're kind of curved, and then across it's kind of like a rectangular shape. And then we want to make that little knot where your scarf hangs. We can add some fringe. I didn't realize you can see that. Okay. And then I'm going to add my shoulders. And they're just two curved lines that come down off of my scarf. So you might feel like you want to add some eyes, but really for the perspective of it, you can't really see your eyes open because your mouth is wide up in the air and you're looking straight up. Um, you might want to draw some rosy cheeks if you want to color that in pink to make it look like you're cold outside. And then you can go back and you're going to add some designs to your scarf. You can make designs to your sweater or your shirt that you have on. You might want to do some stripes here. And you guys can do this with crayon or colored pencil. You don't have to um, do all of this in Sharpie, like I said. That's just an option. And maybe down here I want to do something different to my sweater. Okay, so you're going to... decorate that whole thing and then color it in. And when you add a hair, you can kind of add some crazy hair, like your hair is blowing in the wind.
And you can make your hair whatever color you want. If you want to make it golden for blonde, or if you want to make it brown, if you want to make it black, or dark brown, it's completely up to you. And then after we are finished coloring everything in, you're going to go back and you're going to get some star sequins. You're going to be able to place those around your picture as if it were snowflakes falling from the sky.